Kevin Schwantz out here at Button Willow. Got to spend some time on the new GSX-R1000R. It's by far the most technologically advanced motorcycle I've ever ridden. Lightweight, nimble, direction change, power under acceleration. What an awesome machine. You know, between the variable valve timing and the ram air, uh, the power delivery is just as smooth as it can be. And that inline four-cylinder has just got unbelievable torque. And it just continues to pull and rev well up into, into 14. I think 14.5 is actually where the red line is. For me, the quick shift system was, was one of the things comparing last year's bike to this year's bike. Uh, that, that just was a complete difference. You never even have to think about trying to get a downshift. Uh, it just wants to jump back into that next gear. It wants to go up a gear really, really easily. Like even downshifting into a corner when you're trying to drive it in as deep as you can, be hard on the brakes and then force a downshift, it just falls through the gearbox. It's, it's, it's a whole lot easier machine to ride than last year's bike because you don't have to nearly think as much about the shifting. Suzuki's strong point has always been its transmission. Sport bikes have gotten to where foot pegs are so high and the seat's so low and everything's all jammed and cramped, but you feel anything but that on the new GSX-R 1000R. Uh, handlebar position, brake and clutch levers, uh, shifter and rear brake all just right there in typically great Suzuki positions and plenty of space to slide forward or back in the seat. If you get into a corner, you don't have quite the balance that you want, you can slide a little further forward in the seat, a little further back. You know, the, the GSX R1000R really made it comfortable to, to push the envelope to get to where the traction control was working. And you got, you know, three different power delivery modes, A, B, and C, and then you've got 10 different traction control modes. Well, I did a pretty good comparison back to back with last year's bike and this, this new bike. Definitely feels more nimble, just changes direction like it's a 600 or a 250. So light side to side, feels like it wants to just fall into the turn. And it wants to do the same thing on acceleration through the center of a corner. The front end on the new Suzuki GSX R1000R is, is amazing. It's got three 20 millimeter Brembos on the front of it and the stiffness in the front forks just gives you such a positive feel through the corners, whether it's transitioning onto the brakes, whether it's transitioning back off the brakes and trying to get the bike to steer through the corner. The, the bridge stones that come on the bike are amazing. And even in the high heat out here, great grip, good predictability and um, pretty comfy ride. The BFF Showas, they look like uh, any factory fork that there is out there on MotoGP bike these days. And you know, never even had to really mess with them. Uh, the setup and the forks initially was, uh, was really good. And I, like I said, I love the front end. I love the feel and the balance of the bike. As you, as you start to get more and more aggressive with the throttle, the ride by wire really rewards you if you get in, get off the brakes, get back to the gas and try and be nice and aggressive. It tells you everything you need to know. It gives you all the different settings and what mode you're on as far as power delivery, as far as traction control. It's got a great tachometer. It also gives you fuel mileage, which yeah, maybe on the track isn't that important, but uh, just as long as you've got enough to get to the end of the race. The IMU is basically a supercomputer. It detects pitch and lean angle. It helps the bike stay balanced better. It helps with the engine, helps with engine braking, it helps uh, smoother delivery of the power as you're coming off the corner. So you come out and there's a slight rise in the track or in the road, it doesn't want a wheelie as bad. You've got everything right there at your fingertips that you can change, you can control. It never left me doubting the equipment today. Then, With all the power that the GSX R1000 has, uh, all assistance is needed, that's for sure. When it came out in 85 and got to the, got to the US in 86, it was by far the most, uh, most developed um, motorcycle sport bike that there was anywhere out there and it's continued to stay at the very top of its class over the past 30 years and uh, this this new development with this brand new GSX R 1000 R uh, has taken that bike right back to the top of its class and I think everybody that, uh, that has ever seen Suzuki or watched Suzuki or or wants to own a Suzuki I think right now is the time to get one because this new thousand is uh, is truly amazing.